Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in this section of the uh, video we are going to go ahead and now import that uh, flow zipped file which is also the flow template um, that I've already provided with the blog um, and then that'll be the last section of this entire app. Um, so the the flow is actually a zipped file, the flow template. Uh, so go ahead and download that and keep it in a place you can access it because um, that's where we're going to go ahead and now import that. Um, so now that I go into my flow, um, make sure again that it is in the exact same um, environment because that's the same one where the data connections were, the same environment we build the power apps in, the same environment we want the flow to be in. So now, uh, after we validated that, I am going to go to my flows. I'm going to use this import functionality. Um, in the import functionality, when you go over there, it's going to ask you for upload the file to import and it's asking specifically for a zip package file. So I'll go ahead and do that. This is the zip package file that I've also provided to you in the blog. Um, go ahead and open that. And on the bottom you'll see uploading a package. Don't navigate away. It is absolutely imperative at this time that you don't do anything. Uh, just let it do its job. Um, and you know, depending on your internet connection speed over there, uh, this could take you know fast or slow, but let it do its thing. Just be patient. All right, so it's completed over here. And there's a couple of things uh, we need to look at. Uh, right now, you see that there is a exclamation marks over there or warnings. Uh, we just got to go and figure out uh, what's going to happen uh, to all these data connections and where we're going to import it. Uh, so the first thing is um, the flow itself. Uh, it is asking, do I want to update it? Well, the reason it's asking for that is because I already have an existing flow called social. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on action. And instead of update, I am selecting new. The reason I want to show you that um, is twofold. First is because I had to do that. And second is you might already have uh, a flow with that name. And you don't want to update that because this is a completely separate flow. So that's why I go ahead and create that as new. And I'll just call this a social two. I'm giving it the exact same name the Power App had. That had. So I'll just save that over here. So this one's taken care of. Now the other ones are pretty simple. They are just data connections. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do the same thing. Um, I'll do action. And in this case, um, I have two Twitter connections. I know exactly which one I want to pick, uh, which is this one here. But you might have um, just one. And if it's just one, then you can actually just set up, uh, just select that one over here. Uh, and I, I prefer to do it this way. Um, you could, in for these ones, just say select during import. But it's best that um, you just do it over here as well, because that way you know what's getting imported. Uh, now for the Facebook connection, um, again, the same thing. I just went ahead and I only have one Facebook connection. So I'll select that. And then Yammer connection, same thing. I only have um, one, and well, I have two in this case. I know which one to pick. Uh, you might just have one, so go ahead and select that. Um, Slack, I just have one. Go ahead and select that. And then SharePoint connection, I have actually two, one for online and on-prem. I know which one's online, so I'm going to select that. Um, and I think we are all done over here, so I will select import. And again, confirming a package to import, you know, don't, uh, and now it's confirmed, now it's importing, don't navigate away, let it get done over here. As you can see, this icon changed. So now we need to validate to see if it's successful. And we've got green all the way over there, so it looks like it's successful. Um, now, um, the template will still remain uh, attached to the URL that I actually had. Uh, it tends to do that. So what we need to do now is go in there and change it to that list that we just created for you. In the first video, when I provided the STP files, um, you need to know what that list is. Um, so that's why we need to go and change. So that's why I'm going in over here. I'm selecting to uh, when an item is created. Now, on your case, what may happen is you may actually get an error over here because it can't even recognize, uh, either it won't recognize it or it'll say you don't, you don't have access to it. Um, so what you want to do is pretty much similar to what I'm doing because right now, that's not the place where I had my list in. So I'm going back to that site and I'm doing the exact same thing, just getting the URL right down to the site. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on enter, enter custom value and uh, paste it. So now, um, this list name over here, it doesn't exist because that list did not exist in that cycle, uh, site over there. Probably the same thing is happening to you right now when you got this template. So I'll just delete that and I'll refresh it because it now picks up the correct lists, which is in that sub-site. So 
now I've selected it and I think everything should be good. Um, this is also where it's important that you kind of use that, either use the STP file that I gave you for the SharePoint list or make sure that your SharePoint list has the exact same column names uh, because all of these are picked up straight from the, temp uh, the zip file or the flow template that I provided. If yours is different, then you will have to go and make changes over here. So what I'm gonna do is, I, you know, I, I know what they are since I use the STP file, I'll leave it as it is. Now I'll click on update flow and um, let's see if it catches any error. And it did not. Um, one good thing about flow is if there is any errors, it will um, tell you what that is. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm leaving it as it is over here. I won't click on done. But as a test, I'll go back to my uh, Power App and I'll uh, actually put in a test. So I say testing with flow, and I think I already typed this in over here, testing to see if flow template, uh, hashtag flow template, that is the zip file has been imploded successfully. And to do a good test, I went ahead and selected all. So now I'll click on send. Um, send is going through. Let me just refresh it on the screen. Actually, let's go back to the flow because you saw the flow started running immediately. Um, that's why I left it at that and then click on done. It says your flow ran successfully. Let it finish. While it's doing that, we can also just refresh it over here just to make sure, yep, it showed up on that list. This one's almost, I mean, still running. So we'll see what's going on. It says it finished successfully. While it's, While it's doing that, let's go and see if I can refresh to see if any data is coming through. Yep, it ran successfully. Um, and it looks like since I selected all, it went through and selected that successfully over here. So now, oh yep, on the Twitter side, I see that the message came in. On the Yammer side, let me refresh that. Go to all, message came in. Slack message came in. Facebook, you usually need to refresh over here. And I see that the message came in. So we have successfully now imported that flow template as well. Um, and that went ahead and connected to the correct SharePoint list, um, which means now we've got a full connection. The full app has been imported to your environment, which in this case is my environment successfully using the templates that I provided. Um, so once again, let's go through that. I went ahead and first imported the STP file for the SharePoint list. Second thing I did was I confirmed I had all the data connections. Third thing I did was um, I went ahead and created, uh, imported that Power App, the MS app file, made sure it's created in the same environments where the data connections are there. And then finally, I imported the flow zipped file, uh, which is the flow template, template, confirmed it is also in the same environment. In the flow, I went in to check to see if uh, you know, I needed to change the SharePoint list to the new list that we created. Um, and then after that, I did a successful test. So hope you guys um, have a good uh, time uh, building this because it's a really good process to go through since now we'll get familiar with importing and exporting templates and things like that. Uh, and this is also a fun, good app to have. Um, now that you have the app and everything's working, feel free to add enhancements and modifications to it and share it in the community over here. Um, so keep power apping. Thanks.